Hi guys, this is Adriana and uh, we are going to make together the recipe of the most amazing vegan salmon currant locks if you like, you can possibly make at home. So stay tuned and follow this step by step tutorial video. All we need to do is basically just have a hand some carrots, the bigger the better, and a spiralizer bit. I'm using this one that is me like two or three quids. I think I bought it from Lidl. Yeah, I'm def I definitely bought it from Lidl. And um, yeah, this has a very flat, a flat blade as you can see. Yeah, we actually um, recreate the same veins as the actual salmon flesh which is amazing to look at it's really really freaking freaking you know so close as well as the spiralizer this will uh, leave us with a core i don't know you but i like snacking on just that while cooking or i actually do have two lovely guinea pigs and they do happen to love the bit of the inside, the core bit of the carrot, so I just put it in the lunch boxes and feed it to them for a treat or something. So nothing goes wasted. And so this is basically what we'll end up with. Just slices of carrot with wet veins. It doesn't really matter uh, how long the, the slice is it will just do the trick as well so next step is to place them in a pan and move on to the next step for the next step we are basically going to need a square bit of a cheesecloth and we're going to fill it with seaweed i'm here using three four four different types of seaweeds we have combo or kelp then I put some dulce or dulce and wakame wakame I had no idea how to pronounce this and finally some nori sheet which is indeed the seaweed that we use to roll out vegan sushi with but the reason why we're doing this of making some sort of sachet with the seaweed inside is because believe me I tried I tried um, just infusing the seaweed just put it loose like that in the pot as with the carrots and it was a bit of a pain <laughs> removing all the bits and pieces once they're cooked they'll become sticky and they stick to the carrot flesh and so believe me it's better this way way better this way you just infuse you take all the beautiful sea flavors as you need and it just works perfectly you just remove the entire sachet at the end and you have all that all tidy and clean the way i like it <laughs> and uh, it works like a treat so we secure our sachet with some kitchen thread and we put it nicely in our, the pot with our carrot. Next up, we're going to use some flavors and uh, starting with some liquid smoke. If you don't have a liquid smoke, you can use smoked paprika and a bit of soy sauce instead. Or if you do not like the smoky flavor, it's okay. You can just uh, leave it out. Then for some sweetness, we're going to use some maple syrup. I think I already got in. Here we're adding some garlic powder, garlic granules, just for flavouring. Then we can add some sea salt, or some flakes, now or later, and we cover up all with some filtered water, as much as we can fit. I was a bit stingy of the size of my pot, but I always use this for three bit carrots, it always goes fine, so 
I can just push it down a bit and we'll just uh, bring to a very soft boil on the stove and we let it cook for 10 minutes 10 minutes work really nice for uh, some soft cover that still have a bite here is after 10 minutes as you can see they are changed color they some of the seaweed escape but that is not a problem it's still it's really hot here i'm just <laughs> showing how it looks after boiling for 10 minutes and then we're gonna just cover with the lid and leave them just cool down to room temperature so we can move on to the next step here is our beautiful carrot salmon ready to be treated for the last step which is basically draining or pat it dry a bit over um, just a plate with a couple of uh, kitchen towel kitchen sheets and we'll just try to make one layer or yeah just to keep in one layer of our carrot just to remove all the excess of water which we don't want it and um, we can eat it straight away after we pat it with another piece of our kitchen cloth or as many of these things they are actually better after a couple of days a couple of days in the fridge with um, infusing some of them they still keep um, absorbing all the flavors of the goodness and uh, everything i normally just uh, leave it like this preferably overnight unless i just fancy having it some straight away and um, then I just arrange it on a plate and I season it with some vegetable oil, some neutral oil really, any like sunflower oil or rapeseed because it is essential to put it uh, because you know salmon is a pretty fatty fish, it is quite greasy and uh, if we're eating it like that we're gonna just have some sort of uh, boiled carrot with an aftertaste of sea but not really the salmon experience itself so just i have it, my oil in a spray bottle i will just spray it over and i season with uh, some other sea salt and uh, pepper and then i squeeze some lemon juice on top then I, yeah, sometimes I put some capers and dills, if I, some dill if I want to be fancy, or also chives work very, very well. And there, I just leave it marinated as long as I need, half an hour is best. And uh, using on bagels with cream cheese, on crackers, and especially in sandwiches. Or I just like eating it by itself, like just as I used to really, just with a bit of sourdough bread and just beauty, it's just irresistible. So if you liked this recipe today, let me know with a comment and uh, hit the button subscribe and uh, I will endeavour because the many of you have uh, asked me for uh, to make videos and actually step up step videos or one of my, my most popular recipe so i will try to to work on that as well um, yeah to know i am completely alone working on the blog uh so just working uh shooting recipes uh, trying new recipes uh, writing down recipes and all the work that is behind the, the the scenes so trying to get as much as i can done because, because I love this and uh, you guys seem to love it too so I'm really really happy to about this so uh, see you next time hopefully soon and in the meantime take care and 
most importantly, stay safe. Bye.